Hey, yo, this is Neutrino and you're watching Mayhem TV. Big up Dark Romello. <laughs> Yeah, we were doing a little um, little old school set uh, in Croydon. It went down well, it was lively in there. You'll probably see the footage anyway. No, it's a good, good night. Boy, the first question I'm going to ask you guys, where have you guys been, boy? <laughs> we've been about, man. We've been about, we've been working on our new stuff. We've got a lot of stuff coming out this summer. So, yeah, watch this space. I've been, um, I've been playing rugby. So everyone's like, oh, you're hench, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've been playing rugby for the last, like, four or five years. But... We're now like, you know, doing a lot of new music. You should hear it towards like, what, say about end of this year or summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. going to be stuff in the streets this summer, so by the time you might hear it, probably uh, end of summer, start of the start yeah, You of the guys year. are pioneers in the game, like, you, look, you, you man were the original guys to be talking road stuff over um, Dark Garage. That's now classified as grime right about now. Mm -hmm. So you opened the doors for many guys like Chipmunk, Dizzy Rascal, Skepta, Jamie, so many names. Like, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's all, it's all good. I mean, we've, we were never fans of, like, the kind of soulful garage stuff. And it was always, like, you know, we were always determined to, you know, put another sound into the scene, which is why, you know, we focused on a lot of the dark stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's all good, man. You know, seeing everyone doing well, you know, Chipmunk, Skepta, you know, Dizzy, you know, it's, it's, it's all good for the UK scene. Keeping so, the scene alive, innit? Yeah. Maybe. Also, your, um, your catalogue of hits is very, very impressive, boy. Okay. Like, I understand. Gold, gold albums, platinum, platinum awarded albums, yeah. top 10 singles. Like, how were you keep, able to keep that run so persistent and consistent? Uh, hard work, man. Like, when, you're, when you've got that point and the light's shining on you, you've got to, you've got to provide. So, if you've done one good track, they want the second good track, the third good track. So if you're kind of out doing whatever, you're not going to come up with that second track. You've got to be in the studio working hard, yeah. trying to make that next track, and that's what we was all doing. Yeah, I think like what it was is like being like first DJ MC to have the number one in Garage. I think it's like you know what we got to prove a point. We're not one hit wonders, you know, and like you know sold 110,000 um, first week for Bound for the Reload. Then our next follow it was no good for me. That sold even more than um, CDs, bounce, no yeah, downloads, just CDs. <laughs> Physical sales. Um, you know, there's a lot of sales going on, and um, you know we had what one, two, three, four top ten hits, uh, two top twenties, platinum album. But that's just like me and Oxide, not including this whole solid stuff. That's a whole other level. Do you know what I mean? So, but it's a lot of hard work. People don't see that. You know, school tours, scores, clubs, traveling around the world. Like a lot of people think, you know, ah, uh, yeah, you know, we're the first to be doing this. Nah, oh, we done that a long time ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? But nah, it's all good. Well, also you guys like set the template, like, like the lifestyle and the, like the fashion as well, like from the VCU jeans to the <laughs> white gold jeans, to the, <laughs> to the Audi TT. You lot kind of set the template for how to dress 
and how other people from different areas were dressing as well, and, yeah. and so you put you proper put the spotlight on South. No, I mean what you saw in our videos is what we were living like the TTs. You know, we bought those. The clothes they were ours. Champagne we were buying that. It was not. No, we weren't fabricated. That was lifestyle. So, you know, it's just us being us, basically. Yeah, and also um, like the hood philosophies, like even the, like the stories of getting jacked and all that. Um, the, I think that added to your um, to your um, to your legend in the fact that that probably helped you go platinum because the stories <laughs> that were like word of mouth. I heard this happen. I heard that happen. Yeah. Let me check out the music, and they check out the music. It, come, the music it comes with it, innit? It's a yeah. natural thing. If you're doing well, people are gonna talk about you. They're gonna make yeah. up stories. Bad so. publicity is good publicity, as they say, uh, to a certain degree. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, um, back in them days as well, like, it's not like now. Back in now, it's like 79p per single. Back then, it was 2 99 per single. So, yeah. the cuts for the record labels were different. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you might were eating differently probably. <laughs> so, like, I mean, so you're talking about, okay, so selling over 300,000 albums, and each album's what, like, 30 99 And I so <laughs> it's a lot. And like you're saying, singles, you know, we're doing like 200,000 singles at 2 99 I mean, did a mess, man. Real talk, real talk, innit? So, um, the new material, that's what we want to know, innit? We want to know, like, I'm the age group, I'm the age demographic of um, that, the So Solid generation, the Oxide Neutrino de generation, innit? So, yeah. I've kind of grown up listening to your music. Um, your new music, is it going to cater towards uh, me, or is it going to cater to the younger generation? Hopefully both. <laughs> You know what I mean? Hopefully both. We've kind of the new stuff we're working on, kind of garagey, dubstep, kind of trying out a couple different styles. And you know what I mean? We're just keeping it real. We ain't trying to copy what's popular right now or trying to adapt to anything. Cause that's we've never worked like that. You know what I'm saying? We always kind of done us, do what we feel, do what we like, and hopefully things will kind of. You know what I mean? People will like it. It's something different, right? Like, it's not. You know, we we've never tried to. You know, have a number one have like a platinum album, have this and that. We've just done music for the love of it and what we liked. And it, it's not, you know, it's not manufactured. And that's why, you know, we've been away for quite a while because it's like, you know, you have to be in that, you know, that right frame of mind before you say, you know what, let's make some good music again. You know, you got to have, you know, your heart's got to be there. No point saying, oh, I'm going to make this, you know, because I want to be rich and I want to make money. That's not what music's about. <laughs> I'm a bit lost on that because I'm, I'm kind of getting back into it slowly because like I said, I've been on a rugby pitch for the last five years, man. So I haven't been listening to, you know, the, when it comes to like the underground stuff. What I see, you know, like, you know, ratings for like your, you know, Chipmunk, um, you say Skepta. N-dubs doing well as well. N-dubs as well. But I couldn't, you know, I couldn't honestly say, yeah, I know what's going on. No underground wise, so I need to I need to kind of catch up on that man, and then I can come back and tell you, you know, we're on feeling and you know he's doing it. Yeah. As well, people come out with one good tune sometimes, but to say you like someone, they've got to do a couple good tunes or an album for you to consistency. Yeah, yeah consistent yeah. exactly. Like, Oxide, I want to put you on the spot. Your, um, your production <laughs> game was sick back in the day. Like, like yeah. Your your beats still run now. Do you understand? Yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like, so, people so. still play your ish now. Like. 
Like you had that sick engineer, what's his name, Mike Kenny as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, big up Mike, yeah, big up Mike, man. Are you still working with Mike or? See, no, not at the moment, to be honest. I'm working kind of all different studios. It's what we've done at the time is make and execute, just rent out studios, use all different ones. You kind of pick up different sounds from different places rather than making it all in one place, you know what I mean? Because sometimes you can just get rinsed out, kind of using the same sounds and all that. So, yeah, just, just traveling about, using a few different studios. Yeah. So you man are officially back on the circuit doing this PA game again, yeah? We never kind of really went away from the PA. Like the PA has always been there because there's always been a demand. You know, even though we ain't been doing music, we've always had demands for bookings like across the country, you know, across the world and that. Yeah, That's yeah. always been in demand. So, we, you know, we've never actually stopped gigging. But like production-wise the music, you know, we've kind of, you know, took a, took a step back on that. So, you know, every, it's mostly every weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Okay. People still going nuts 11 years later. It's a bit, it's <laughs> yeah, we did come back shows for 10 years. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So it's good to see that you men are still in good health and you're still eating. Yeah, and nice one, you man nice are still looking young as shit like back in the day. You know, the <laughs> Lost ones, couple of years. We're getting on with that. You men are still looking on point and whatnot. You know the ones that's 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 So man, you man keep it up and whatnot. Yeah, you understand that like, you represent itself properly. Yeah. You understand you're doing the music thing properly and whatnot. And you gave a lot of people dreams in the understand that they can that it can be made in it like you came from the same places as everybody else from the yeah. dirt, you get me? Mm -hmm. And you made something mm -hmm. of your lives. Uh, yeah. Big up, man. Big up to you, man. man. Yeah, yeah, respect, respect for that, bro. Respect. Big up, Mayhem TV, Dark Romello. Stay tuned, man.